welcome back to my channel so um you're gonna be like why do you have the same clothes as the other videos so um i did three videos in this day Woo! um and this video i'm gonna be it's a story time and guess what it is about it's about my ex cheated on me yeah you guys um unfortunately he cheated on me he missed this ay, ay, just kidding but i'm gonna be talking about that and hopefully you guys enjoy and let's get started okay so yes my ex cheated on me and if you're watching this fuck you ay, ay, just kidding you guys just kidding um, okay, so first I have I have um, a book like a book not a book a Notebook here cuz I write um, Like I prepare myself like so I won't forget you know like details and everything so yeah If I'm looking down, it's that's why um, So how we met Okay, so I met him by this girl and I Talk, I used to talk to that girl and he was dating that girl so this is how it started um that day I was gonna go to a party with my best friend and my other friend um and I was gonna go to a party but then she called me and she was like um hey um um, so this guy invited me to like a cake bike or something you guys you want you you want to come and I was like Well, it's because I'm with my friend and we're going to a party law and she was like, please please come with me Because I don't want to be alone and you can bring your friend. It doesn't matter whatever So I was like, okay, like I guess so I'm sorry I let my other friend died and she went to the party um and I took my best friend with me and we were there and I met him there and she was dating him you guys well okay I'm I'm gonna you're gonna see right now but they were dating um and I forgot you see that's why I have this here you guys cuz I always forget I think I'm gonna suffer from Alzheimer's when I'm older <sighs> anyway um so we were there at the it wasn't a party you guys it was just her my best friend and me and there were it was him and it was him another guy and another guy okay okay look i'm gonna put names so a poner pancho is my ex and then Pancracio is um his cousin and then give me another name think fast think fast um Alex I ate. Alex is the other friend and then the girl that I went to the party with is gonna name her name's gonna be Pancha and then the my best friend her name's gonna be <laughs> um, I cannot think I don't know you guys I'm just gonna say my best friend so you know but the girl of the name, the names, the name of the girl, uh, it's Pancha, okay? The girl that invited me to the party. Anyways, let's keep going. So, okay, yeah, we were there and, um, um, so they were like dating or whatever. And I, to be honest, cause I didn't know that it was going to happen later on that me and him were going to be together. But anyways, um. That day, I hooked up with his friend, Alex. That's not his name, remember, okay, but Alex. And, oh, I'm sorry. 
my friend was with my best friend was with Pancracio <laughs> and the girl Pancha was with Pancho so yeah um they were there and um, and yeah we were drinking and we were it was kind of boring to be honest because it was just us and there was nobody so yeah um okay anyways that day passes and then i want to say like ooh, a week later he messaged me um pancho messages me and he's like hey um what are you doing today and i'm like oh nothing just like chilling i'm just at home and he's like oh well um, do you want to come to the sack y luego pues, to be honest yo no sabía que era el sack so yeah i text another friend of mine and she i was like hey hey wey que es el sack y lo o oh, es donde lleva las cuatrimotos, like, donde hay mucha tierra, like, así. Y, like, pues, muchos van ahí. I was like, oh, pues, es que este guy me invitó, pero, uh, no, I don't want to go alone or whatever. So, you want to come with me? And, I, and she was like, yeah, I love, yeah. So, I told this guy, um, yeah, but can I bring a friend? And he was like, yeah, it's fine. And, yeah, pues, she got to my house, we got ready, and then, like, and 30 minutes an hour later he comes and he picks us up and it was okay so did i thought he was inviting me because alex the one i hooked up with at the kickback party whatever um he was gonna go and he was gonna go with his girl so they just wanted another girl because of the of pancracio so that's what i what i thought you know so so when he picked us up I we got in the car and there was nobody it was well not no girls it was just him it was just him pancracio and another guy it was not alex anymore it was another guy so we were there and yeah we went to the sack and i was like so what's up with this girl and he was like no nothing and i was like are you sure because i they were together you guys like come on and he was like oh yeah we're just friends and i was like and i was like no like tell me the truth and he was like oh no we're just friends and everything i was like oh because because i like i don't want any problems or like that because like i used to talk to her you know like so se mira mal and he was like, no, I'm being for real, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah, we were at the sack, and we were drinking, and, and everything. So, when we left the sack, like, w when we were there, like, we were talking, and he was kind of, like, flirting with me, or whatever. <clears throat> and then, like, when we left, that's when he started, like, he put his hand, like, around me, like, like this. And I was like, okay, and then he was drunk as fuck, you guys, I remember. So I was like, okay, whatever. And then, um, yeah, we, he started to kiss me. And then, like, we started kissing. And um, from there, I thought he was not going to talk to me anymore. Because I was like, oh, like, maybe he's a fuckboy or, or whatever. Like, you know, like, being insegura yo como siempre. But tr always trust your God, you guys. Like I said in my last video. Ay, ay. Um, but, okay. So, yeah, the... Um, he started kissing me and I thought he was not gonna talk to me anymore but he did um I think it was like the next day and he invited me to the movies and I was like are you sure you don't have nothing with this girl because she already texted me saying this and that and then and he was like no I don't know why she's saying that and we never had anything and blah 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 and this and that and you guys it was just such a mess because I knew that girl and that knew and that girl like knew my mom and I know like how she must have feel cause like he played her to be honest and yeah um so whatever the anyways keep on with the story so we went to the movies and this and that and then yeah we got out and then we were like we started like texting and talking and whatever and he was like me la pasé muy bien contigo hoy blah 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 like um, espero que nos sigamos hablando así lo, yeah we started talking and he was like yeah flirting with me he was even writing like hearts or whatever and shit 
And he was, and I was like, but maybe he wants something serious. So yeah, like, we were like talking and then, um, he, he told me one time, I really want to be with you, but I will, I've been through heartbreaks, so I want you to respect me. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. As long as you give me respect, like you don't have to worry, you know, like as long as you respect me, I'll respect you. And that's how it's been. So, yeah. So, yeah, we like started dating and like going out more and things like that. And one time we went to, to the... Um, to the park and to the chamisal and we were like there and he was like some oh we were like just like talking about each other and this and that and he told me you know like i just broke up with my ex and this and that and i was like oh like okay and every time they tell me that like i just broke up with my ex you guys i know that for i know and it's facts you guys that <clears throat> guys are not over their ex or either girls you know they're not over their ex so if the ex calls him or calls her they're gonna answer right away and they're gonna be like oh yeah i want you back whatever so we were at the chamisal and then his phone rings and he was like oh it's a pendeja and i was like oh shit and he was like can you answer and i was like pues quien es? like if i'm gonna answer i need to know who it is and he was like, oh, it's this is me, ex, it's this. And I was like, oh, and Lolo, contesta, contesta, no, es para que sepa que estoy contigo. And I was like, okay, so I answered, and nobody, nobody answered. They hang, they hanged up, so it was her. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, a little bit back when we first. When remember I told you the first day we went to the sack. Um, that day after that we went to his friend's house, and we were there, and he was sending pictures of us, of me and him, to his ex girlfriend. So yeah, just that gives you like. La estaba tratando de celar. So yeah, okay, back to where I was. So yeah, nobody answered, and yeah, so yeah. They keep passing and she keeps calling him and he's not answering and then yeah like a couple months later he showed his true colors um he was very aggressive not that to the point that he hit me he never did that but to the point that he would get mad for every little thing and like um he would get mad i don't know if i should say this like well okay he would get mad to the point like if i didn't want to have sex with him he would get mad and he would siempre me siempre me amenazaba con que ya me voy que ya no me quieres aquí ya me voy pues yo siendo la pendeja siempre le decía no no quédate and things like that you know so yeah um so um he started showing his true colors and he was like and he used he used I don't know if he still does but he used to drink the lunes a domingo you guys <sighs> and I'm not judging like you can do whatever you want like si ustedes quieren hacer party pues que les valga madre si quieren hacer party de lunes a domingo like whatever pero for me I don't want a guy that's gonna be drinking 24-7 just because I already I already went through that with my mom and dad so no you guys that's just a just cancel for me so I didn't like it and then he would tell me like drink with me and I would be like no and he would be like you don't love me you don't want to be with me because I didn't want to drink with him so yeah I would sometimes drink like Smirnov and stuff like that so yeah and then one time we went to a party we went to a party and my so okay sorry um he he started okay when we used to go out he would be like bring a friend bring a bring a friend bring friends bring friends so i used to bring my friends 
And then, like, they would, my friends would go along. Next day, he would be like, I, I don't like your friend. I, I don't like your friend. So, he would, like, get mad also because I used to talk to them. And, pues, yo bien mensa le hacía caso and I wouldn't talk to them. So, we went to this party and one of my friends was there. And then he w he was mad because I was like, oh, she's going to be there and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, I, I don't know where we're coming. You know that I don't like her and whatever. And yeah, you guys, um, we got to the party and uh, she gave me something and he got mad. And I was like, why are you mad if you did the same thing? Like not cheating or whatever, nothing like that, but... I was like, why are you getting mad if you did the same thing? And I don't know, he was mad. And to the point that he was going to leave me at the party. So I just like panicked and I just started like to cry. Because he was acting so childish, you guys. And I was just there like, oh my god, what do I do? So I asked my friend, hey, can I go with, can I um, like go back? Can you take me home? And she asked um, the guy um, she had gone with, and they were like, yeah, it's fine, it's cool. And I was like, it doesn't matter at whatever time, just take me back home. And then his friends were defending me, you guys. They were like, how are you going to leave her alone? How are you going to leave her here? You brought her, like, don't be a fucking asshole and whatever. So, yeah, he came back, and he was like, okay, pero ya, vámonos. So, I voy the mensa, and then, like, you guys, I saw... He texted his ex and he was like, I miss you. Um, it's not the same anymore. Like, it's not the same when I was with you. Something like that. But keep in mind that he had been, he had, they had been, uh, they had been texting for a while now. And I knew, but I never said anything, you guys. Because, no lo quería dejar, to be honest. Porque no quería estar sola. Y no que no lo quería. Si lo, que, si lo quería. Like, si lo, Saben como like, lo quería. Y pues, pero no quería estar sola tampoco. Si yo me aguantaba. de que me, Si sabía que me estaba engañando. Pero like, pues no lo quería dejar. So yeah. Like, um, that day I, I, I saw the message. And I was like. What am I even doing here? You know. Like, pero anyways. I just kept the relationship. Because I, like I said. I didn't want to be alone. And yeah, like, um, so that, that like pasa and then a couple of weeks later we go to the sack again with his friends, um, and another, another friend of mine and we were there and then we were there and then we stayed a for a little bit there and then we got out and we were going to go to a party. So, I was, he was, sorry, he got in the car, he got in the car, and I was with his friend, um, giving him the address so he could follow us, and I was like, he was mad, you guys, that they have the sack, because I told him something, 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 that I'm not gonna say here, so he was mad and when I got in, when I was giving him, uh, when I was with his friend giving him the address, he was going to leave me, you guys. Like, I'm being dead serious. He was going to leave me again. And I was like, hey, he, this, este Pancho, he's going to leave me. Sorry, my mom just got here, so. Um... Um, he was gonna leave me, so, yeah, um, so this guy was like, get in my truck, let's just follow them, let's just, or let's just go, and I was like, fuck it, I'm not gonna stay here, imagine, like, me walking toward his car and him just passing me by, fuck no, so I just got in the truck, and then he got hella pissed, you guys, and he would text me, he was, like, calling me, and he was like, 
you're such a fucking hoe. Why did you go with my friend? Um, I was fucking waiting for you like a dumbass, and you just left. And um, I see that you have something with my friend, and I and I was like, what the fuck? And I told his friend, and he's like, he's tripping. Like you guys, and we were not alone. We were with another guy, and it's not like we were gonna go fuck or something. We were going to the fucking same place, to the same address, you know. So that got me mad. Anyways, we get to the address first, and there's no fucking party. So now we have to, like, call him and then to meet us in a gas station because I really, really had to pee. So, yeah, we met at a gas station, and then um, we were there. Well, sorry, before that, his friend was, like, because he said that, because I read him the messages that he was telling me a hoe and whatever and that we had something and he was like to be honest he doesn't deserve you and I'm gonna tell you the truth because I'm sick and tired of him like treating you bad and that's when I was like what the fuck and he was like he's been talking to his ex and they they're not just talking they're like se han visto and I was like it clicked, you know, like, you guys, it's really hard for a friend of your boyfriend or ex-boyfriend or to tell you when your boyfriend is cheating on you. Porque son amigos, los amigos se tapan y siempre se van a tapar. So, es bien raro que alguien te diga la verdad de que si te están engañando o no, ¿saben cómo? Maybe él se sintió por mal por mí, a lo mejor me tuvo lástima, no sé. And anyways, he told me. So, yeah, we got to the gas, gas station, gas station, <laughs> gas station, and I was like, I'm scared or whatever, because he was hella mad. And I was like, do I go to his car? Do I stay here? Where I'm, what, I, what do I do? So, I just end up going, and, I was, and he was mad. And he was like, ¿Para qué te fuiste con él? And I was like, well, because you were going to leave me, you fucking idiot. And he was like, no, I was waiting for you like a dumbass and here and like whatever. And I was like, well, I thought you were going to leave me because you're mad. You're clear, you've been mad since a long time ago. So like, he was going to leave me. And I was, and then he was like, no, whatever. Yeah, but we just, he was hella mad. He was, he was like fucking speeding you guys. I thought I was going to die. So yeah, um. I just kept going, even though his friend told me, yo todavía de pendeja, and I still kept the relationship for a little longer. Um, so the day, the day we ended, um, we were at his friend's house, drinking, like always. And then, yeah, we were like, let's just go home, and because we were bored, you guys, it's just... We were just chilling, you know, like just there drinking, chilling. So we were like, let's just go home. Let's go get something to eat and go home. So yeah, we we got home and we had food and everything. And then I I was closing the door and I don't know, I don't know why, but he pulled my hair. And I was like, porque no me lo jalo bonito, you guys me lo jalo así like. <laughs> and I was like. No me estás jalando el pelo. And he was like, Ay, ¿por qué estás de mamona? Y lo, ya me voy. And I was like, Okay, whatever. So he gave me the food. I was like, Bye, I have the food. Eh, just kidding. Um, And he left. He gave me the food and he left. And I was like, Don't follow him, don't follow him. Porque yo siempre tenía esa maña de siempre ir tras él. No, no te vayas, no te vayas. Like, quédate, like, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And like, o sea, le gustaba que le rogaran. And I was like, no, pues, pues no, like, esta vez no, like, vete, si te quieres ir, vete. Y I was like, no lo persigas, no lo persigas, no lo persigas, no lo persigas. Ya, yeah, pues, that's when it clicked. This is your chance to break up with him. And you have to put yourself first before you put anybody else first. So, yeah, that's what I did. Okay, first, um, he calls me. I go upstairs. I come upstairs and he calls me and he's like, Si quieres que me vaya. And I was like, well, it's up to you. Like, you're the one who's acting childish again for the million time. So, and, I, and he was like, Abreme la puerta. He was hungry, you guys. He came back for the food. <laughs> ay, ay. Just kidding. Um, He came back, la abrí, like, he came back and he was like, De verdad, quieres que me vaya? And I was like, I didn't say anything. I was just like, 
no, I ain't totally, I ain't, just kidding. But I was like, no, you have, tienes que amarrar un huevo, y bien amarrado, mija. So I was just like, no, like, just do whatever you want. And he was like, okay, pues ya me voy a mi casa y agarro sus hamburguesillas or whatever. And then I was, um, he didn't tell me where he was going. I asked him, where are you going? And he was like, pues a mi casa, donde más quieres que vaya? And I was like, you fucking liar, you're going with your ex, I bet. Ay, ay. So yeah, I, um, he left and to be honest, I did start crying because you guys, it's not fair that you're giving your 100% in the relationship and they're just here over over here cheating and you don't even know. And the saddest part is that he asked me for respect, you know? So I gave it to him and he never gave it back. And that's what messed me up, to be honest. So yeah, um, I cried, whatever, and I texted him, you know what? Um... We're gonna have to end it here because this it's not working and I know that you're talking to your ex and you guys are seeing each other like what the fuck I'm just here being a fucking dumbass and then he was like he told he was drunk you guys because I broke him up when he left and he was like okay pues a la verga so I was like okay whatever he, clearly he didn't care next thing he he texted me and he's like, perdón por todo lo que te hice, blah, blah, blah. Yo sé que me estás cortando por tu amiguito. And I was like, what the fuck? Tuvo el descaro todavía de echarle la culpa a un amigo mío. Like, bitch, it's you. What the fuck? Anyways, and I was like, no, whatever. So I log into Facebook, you guys, and he got back with his ex. That right moment that I broke up with him, he did, you know, when Facebook says... This person is in a relationship with this person. It said that you guys and I was like, fucking bitch. And I react to that shit. I was like, haha, motherfucker. I ain't. So yeah, you guys, and that's how it happened. And wait, this is the thing. One year later, he comes back, tells me sorry again. And then he was to he wants to try things from like zero and everything. So, I kind of wanted to try things, but then I was like, no, porque, like, el que engaña, te va, el que engaña, vuelva a engañar, so, yeah. So, yeah, you guys, more of the story, point of the story, however you want to say it, um, is that, no estén de pendejas con alguien o de pendejos con una girl or whatever, porque el que, la, el que o la que engaña una vez los va a volver a engañar, Dos, tres, cuatro, cinco veces hasta que ya, hasta que ustedes vean son No estén ahí de mensas, like, yo se los digo por experiencia porque ya lo pasé dos veces Y esta nomás es una historia porque todavía me falta otra So, boom, ay, ay So yeah, you guys, no estén ahí de mensos, de mensas This goes both ways, girls and guys I know that some girls cheat too And it's hella bad because they make us other girls seem like we are hoes or cheaters and we they make us look bad too but yeah you guys um just no sean mensas aunque lo quieran aunque lo amen al pendejo like redense a respetar y quieranse a ustedes mismas porque si ustedes no se quieren nadie más las va a querer y también lo mismo va para los hombres y pues em, em, enséñense a respetar es respetarse al uno al otro si tienen pareja y pues sí a de tenerse confianza communication is key and yeah you guys this was my story if you wanna hear my other story it's the same thing but with another guy so if you wanna hear my other story like this video and don't forget to like I said, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.